you tell us why you did Family. it? The mother of the two it? murdered sisters labelled them Despicable call, One and Two. They are not some invented cartoon characters, but real-life police officers. PC Jamie Lewis and PC Dennis Jaffa, who has since resigned. They were deployed in the early hours of June the 8th last year to guard the crime scene in northwest London's Friant Country Park, where the bodies of the women were lying in situ until the morning. Instead, they chose, against all the rules, to breach the cordon, invade the crime scene, and then, with a mobile phone, take photos of the bodies of Nicole Smallman and Bieber Henry. And if that wasn't bad enough, their misconduct in public office went even further. PC Jaffa and PC Lewis took six photos in total. Three of the images were posted to a WhatsApp group of police colleagues. PC Lewis superimposed his face on one of the photos. And then there was the text message. We are at the scene of two dead birds. Then that gives me... Mina Smallman and husband Chris were already in the depths of despair and planning their daughter's funerals when news of the images emerged. Never forget and neither will my husband. Chris knows when I'm anxious. I remember him patting my leg and saying, look, Mina, how bad can this be? We've had the worst news that any parent could get, so it's going to be all right. Graham, who was, um, you know, the spokesperson for the IOPC and going to be overseeing this, he said, we, we've had um, an anonymous phone call to say that police officers had taken selfies with your dead girls and I was so angry I, I lost it with them. Were you given a description? Of the pictures? No, we refused. We, we've never, never seen the images I was broken anyway, but at that point, um, I started having, and I still have them, images of what I think they look like in the pictures. Never had them before, but, um, you know, suddenly they'll just flash up. And um, I don't know how, how to explain this really. The worst thing had happened to us, but this, this took us to, well, it certainly took me to a really, really dark place. It demonstrated how little our girls meant. Today they were in court to hear the guilty pleas. The judge warned the officers they face lengthy prison terms. The Independent Office for Police Conduct, which led the inquiry, said this was a watershed moment for the Met. A culture where some officers don't see anything wrong with sharing deeply offensive messages and where others feel unable or unwilling to challenge has to change and it has to change now. Is it just about bad apples in no. the Metropolitan Police? No. That's too simplistic. We know that if you have a rotting piece of fruit in a fruit bowl, it contaminates everything around it. Unless you take it out, dispose of it, and wash off the mold that was beginning to spread, you end up not with just one bad apple, you end up with a bowl full. So the climate is toxic. People who should be managing, reprimanding, seeing, overseeing, disciplining are not doing their job. They're either colluding, implicated or incompetent. The Mets Commissioner Cressida Dick apologised to the family yet again. What former PC Jaffa and PC Lewis 
chose to do that day, she said, was utterly unprofessional, disrespectful and deeply insensitive. The murders of Biba Henry and Nicole Smallman has precipitated a crisis in the UK's largest police force about race, about the safety of women, about online canteen culture. The IOPC has conducted four separate investigations into the conduct of 13 Met officers, three of them for receiving those images and doing nothing. 